Stand tall and be truthful were just some words of advice offered to the newly elected officers of the Bahamas Christian Council. The new leaders of the National Religious Community were officially installed last night during a ceremony at the William Thompson Auditorium on Jane Street. We can tell you that the Prime Minister also made a commitment to the new officers. Just weeks after being elected this past April, Bahamas Christian Council President Bishop Dalton Fernander and his team took the oath Tuesday night to be faithful to God and strengthen the bond of fellowship as new council leaders. We, as the Ecumenical Council of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, have adopted a model of building together, which we believe is a strategic partnership that we want to be the example for the country that has denominations, as churches, as pastors, that we can first work together so that we can lift up the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ. Immediate past president of the Bahamas Christian Council, Reverend Ranford Patterson's theme was a leader is made before a leader is sent. He implored the new president and his team to stand strong, serve with humility, and always put God first. Brothers and sisters, if you're going to be an effective leader of our Christian council, I came to tell you today, stay in the word. Because I'm telling you, it's going to get rough. And only the word of God will give you encouragement. Because when everybody goes, the light is out and everybody is home enjoying their dinner, the call is going to come to you, sir. Stay in the word and let God continue to encourage you as you go forward. Opposition Progressive Liberal Party leader Philip Brave Davis appealed to the new Christian Council officers to take on the bold responsibility of being productive and effective in their new roles. I urge you, President-elect, to forget about yourself and impose a true brand of Christ on the Council. Share hope-filled messages with our nation and the world. And in all things, remain faithful and steadfast in the Lord. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis recognized that the Bahamas should be thankful to God for our religious freedom and the leaders of the Bahamas Christian Council for their service to national development. Referencing the biblical book of Daniel, chapter 2, Prime Minister Minnis acknowledged that this is a new season for President Fernander and himself. We are both here because of the grace of the Almighty God. We must both approach our office and duties with humility, focus, and an attitude of service. We must both pray for God's continued wisdom and understanding. I congratulate you and your team. I commit not only my support, but you have my pledge to always be open to your spiritual counsel. Remember, great leadership calls for great service. And those of us privileged enough to lead this country must also be humble enough to serve this country. <clears throat> leadership is all about the people.